Buck Owens, also the Beatles had this out. <laughs> a few people had this one out, but uh, uh, Buck Owens and the Beatles uh, were known for it uh, mostly. And then, of course, Buck Owens and Ringo Starr actually did it uh, later on, too, and have a version of that. So be sure and check out all those. But we're going to do, uh, I don't know uh, what key the Beatles did it in, maybe the same key. Uh, it's in G, and uh, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this thing. You can just run with it and do whatever you want to. I like to uh, give you options. Uh, like I say, not overwhelm you, but just kind of give you some options to see, you know, which is better for you uh, and where you're at and, and what you like better. I mean, just either way. Um, I'm playing it capoed up three, okay, in the E position, as you saw there. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because there's a little, little lick there uh, that's pretty cool. I've always loved that ever since I you know first heard the song many many years ago um, and uh, they may be doing it uh, you know Don Rich was uh, uh, Buck's guitar player because Buck was a great uh, uh, lead guitar player as well and and did some stuff I don't know who was doing that at that time but anyway uh, you could do it at probably in the in the G the you know F position uh, up here and play it in G uh, but the open G I just couldn't get a I don't know, I couldn't get a real good grip on it. It just seemed, it just seemed like it was in this E position, that part of it, but I'm not 100% sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this, what I'm doing, and then I'll show you the G part, and, and you can decide which is better for you. Okay, so capo up three in E, all right, A, got a B7 in there, and then we've got an F sharp, um, and it may be a seventh chord, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't mind admitting that I don't always know stuff. Because <laughs> I don't. It's just sometimes it's, especially a seventh chord, and, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, sometimes that seventh is, it's, uh, you know, uh, some people might just pick it up right off. And I do sometimes myself. Because I've, I've missed them a few times, and then go back and go, something's wrong there. That sounds right. Sounds like something's missing there, and it's, it's a seventh, okay? Uh, so I'm not sure which sounds better, the F sharp seventh or the F sharp. I did a cover on it uh, that you'll see out there as well um, that you can check out and play along with. But uh, and I did I did the F sharp, but or the F sharp, yeah, it's the F sharp. So anyway, you can do it. You can do it which either way. The F sharp seventh is a little easier if you're not if you haven't got that F chord down yet. But uh, either one you want to do uh, will work. It's not you know uh, it's not going to make or break the song there. So all right, here's an E chord, uh, uh, first fret, third string. Second fret, fifth and fourth. We're strumming uh, uh, six, and it's this this strumming pattern is just uh, plucking the sixth down up, plucking the fifth down up. You can do it down twice if you want to. I think I do down up and then yeah, I do down up. So it's plucking the sixth down up and then fifth down up. Okay. Plucking that fifth down up and then strumming down up, okay? Okay, you could you could get by with just plucking it once probably. It just seems like it's got that that rhythm that he's doing is kind of oops. So anyway, that's what I'm doing there. Is, uh, that's how I'm doing that rhythm. And then the A chord, I'm getting this A chord with uh, uh, third and fourth string, second fret with my index and uh, uh, the B string there, second string with my second finger. Uh, or you could do all three fingers if you want to do an A that way. If you're used to doing that, fourth, third, second. Actually, the song don't sound bad with an A7. That don't sound bad to be honest with you, uh, but uh, anyway, so you can do either way there. Uh, A7 is a little easier, it's just the uh, 
fourth and, and second, but I'm playing the A in there, and I think that's what they're doing. But like I say, that uh, it's just one note difference. So it's like I say, those sevenths. If you if you don't have them in there, uh, or you do a major in, uh, instead of a seventh, uh, you know it's not going. You know, like I say, the music police are not going to come to your door and have you arrested or anything like that. So um, hopefully. If they do, let, let me know because I'm probably next. Uh, anyway, uh, so the uh, fourth, okay, the B seventh, fourth string, first fret, fifth string, second fret, and then the third and the first string, second fret. We'll strum five on that guy, and then here's that uh, wonderful F sharp seven or F sharp in the uh, F position there. So we're getting uh, the two first two strings there on the second fret, coming over here to the third string, uh, third fret, fourth string, fourth fret. How about that? So that's the F sharp, uh, F sharp, and then you can just raise that index finger and and uh, leave that E string, that first string open, and just put put your finger there on the second string. And that's the seventh, F sharp seven. So it is different, but you know you can get by with doing the seventh if that's easier for you. And like I say, whichever you know you'd rather do, it, it's it's up to you. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this thing because I want to show you the G part. Uh, so I'll do part of it here, uh, and then I'll do I'll show you the G the other way. Okay. This is the way it starts. They're gonna put me in the movies to A. They're gonna make a big star out of me. B seven. There's just that. Okay. I don't know how many times I'm going down and up and down. And up. I'm not going to count them. I'll just, uh, I'll let you kind of feel it out there. Listen to it. And then just take your left hand and, and just stop the strings. You don't have to push down hard. Just, you know, just, just stop them from ringing. Okay. Well, I'll bet you we'll go to B7 there. Okay. On this part. Uh, and uh, this, this, these next two sections are repeated okay uh, what we just did is the first verse uh, I guess you'd call it uh, and then there's another verse that that is the same progression as this one and uh, uh, sounds the same there just different words and uh, then we've got these two sections here that uh, I don't know I guess would be considered maybe a uh, the chorus but because it change it changes up but like I said, and this, is, and this part is repeated, uh, the same words, okay? All right, so, uh, well, I bet you I'm going to be a big star. We're going to go to the B7 there. Well, I bet you I'm going to be a big star. Now, here's the little pick and lick. <laughs> oh, I like this part. And that's why I'm doing this in E, okay? So I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm strumming down. Really just strumming that uh, sixth and fifth string. And then on that... Uh, uh, four string, down, up, open, and back down. What did I say? Did I say open first? Okay, just in the E position on the four string. So down, up, and then open, open, and back down on it. So it's just the same. Uh, it's four string, and we're just just doing that. Uh, 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 on the second fret, so just strum it down, down up, open, and back down on the second. It's just a nice little riff anyway, just a fun little thing just to play along with. As a matter of fact, I think there's another one, I want to say there's another one of his songs that does that, uh, Love's Gonna Live Here or something like that. But anyway, it's a cool little lick you could use for other things. And so anyway, it's just that part that he does is just uh, just on this, I believe. Uh, uh, this, well, I bet you, I'm going to be a big star. And when it goes to the E. Might win an Oscar, you can't ever tell. Here's where the F uh, F sharp goes. Cause I can play the part, or I there's here, here's the uh, just the F sharp. Cause I can play the part. I can play the part. Here's the F sharp seven. Cause I can play the part. Might be the seven. So well, it goes back to the B seven. 
Okay. All right. So then here's this next part that again is repeated later. All right. Goes back to the E, and it's actually uh, it's actually the same progression as the first and second verse as well. Okay. So it's uh, uh, I just can't tell. It's the F seventh or I don't know. But anyway, whichever one you want to play, uh, the F seventh kind of sounds better. Just be. I'm just not sure about that E string there. So anyway, um, I'll let you use your your best judgment there on that one. But uh, um, all right, so here we go. Uh, this is uh, well. I hope you come to see me. And again, it's the same progression. Well, I hope you come to see me in the movie. Then I know you plain to see. He said, biggest fool to ever hit the big time back to eight. He said. New lick I'm gonna show you this is kind of kind of cool. Alright, and this is on again on this uh four string down and up. So we're gonna be strumming that uh six and fifth just like before. Three times down up down up down. I'm gonna say yeah down up down and then open and then we're going to B seventh here. And then do a hammer on on that uh, four string first fret. All right, it's, it's hard to slow this thing down. Okay, so it's just basically on that four string. Uh, so let's do the third again. Back to the fifth. The fourth. And just do a little, sort of a hammer on. And then come up here to the sixth, bending that down a little bit. Sliding over here from the first. Just sliding over here, doing a hammer on on the first, and then open fourth. So it's kind of ending on, it's like a E7, really, it's ending on. Okay, because normally you'd have your finger there, so that's that's an E7 like that. Okay, so it's, whoops. Okay. Let's see if you can see me here. Okay, here we go. I'll do it real slow. That's on the fifth. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, hopefully you can get that there. Uh, it's, it's pretty. It's not a, a real difficult lick. There's not a lot to it, but you can just kind of play around on that that B seven. But now. When you hear the record, that it's it's a little lower notes that he's doing. I don't know if he's uh, uh, got a drop D on that or for sure what he's doing there, but but it is a little lower. Now let me show you the G real quick here because uh, I don't want to take up a lot of time here, but I want to uh, want to show you the G, and it and it sounds pretty good the strumming too. Now what I'm doing there on the strumming is I'm doing uh, sixth and fourth. show you the chords here. G, we've got a, a fifth string uh, right here on the second fret, sixth string, and first and second on the third, okay? And we've got a C chord in there, okay? Uh, second string, first fret, then we got the fourth and the fifth, right there. Okay, then there's a, instead of a B seventh, there's a D seventh, okay? So uh, second string, first fret, and then it's kind of a backwards D here. And then uh, third string and first string on the second fret, okay? 
And then uh, it's got an A. You can do an A seventh or an A there. Okay. Again, that's our that's our F sharp, really. Uh, F sharp or F sharp seven. So this same thing, be the A or the A seven, whichever uh, you think is going to sound better there. Uh, so A seventh is this fourth and second there. You do an A, you just lay your uh, index finger down, kind of borrow those third and fourth string, and then uh, put your second finger on the second string. Or you can do three and do fourth, third, and second. Strum five there, you know, do the, the A there. Either way will work for you. Um, and I wish I was 100% sure on that seven, uh, uh, but I I like I, I like the sound of the A seventh when you're doing it there, because it would be like, uh, see, Luther's gonna make me a big star. Either one, either one works. It's not gonna, you know, it's not a huge difference. Whichever one you like better, that's what I do. Okay, uh, you know, if you're playing with other people and they're like, "That's an A seventh, man. We got to play an A seventh." Then that's why you, you all play the same thing. Uh, if you're playing by yourself, play whatever the heck you want to play, and it don't matter. Nobody's gonna care. Uh, it's a fun song to play, and fun, fun song to sing, and, and everybody's gonna enjoy it. So, listen, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Listen, give us a thumbs up on this one if you if you would, uh, and uh, subscribe to us. Be sure and check out our description down below. We've got some links to products and things like that. Our sponsor, Noun Hound, which is one of the games that we've created, and uh, you can check that out and purchase those things. We have products and things. We have more t-shirts and hats and things like that uh, we have got let's see be sure and check out our other videos we've got a little over 800 videos now out there of all kinds of mostly country uh, guitar lessons and some cover songs I do a lot of the cover songs some people just want the cover songs and plus it's 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 something for you guys that's learning to play you can go and play along with me if you want to and you can kind of watch what I'm doing and this and that too because uh, I'm doing the whole song okay and not just pieces and parts of it you can actually sit there and kind of jam with me uh, I can't guarantee my tempo is always <laughs> right on the money but anyway you can you can you can try to you know play along if you want to there and, and enjoy that but anyway uh, listen share us on social media wherever you can do just get us out there and we sure appreciate the support appreciate y'all tuning in it's been great and uh, we'll see y'all in the next video thanks <laughs>